So you want to get the most out of that ram kit that you just spent all that money on, especially being DDR5 and the prices of it now. And that's what this video is going to do. I'm going to show you how to go in and enable your XMP or your EXPO that it's called now with AMD. And also, if that ain't stable for you, I'm going to show you a couple of different things you can try. Still get the max performance out of that room. I have to throw this disclaimer out because you will be going into your buyers to do this. If you do any damage while trying to do this, you hold full responsibility. I am not responsible for any damage that is done to your components if you decide to do this on your own. A lot of people yell at me in the, in the comments because I don't go through the components of my test beds. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to flip you over and I'm going to show you the components to make up today's test bed. And for today's test bed, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. The motherboard, we are running the Gigabyte B650 or it's Elite AX motherboard. For the RAM, we have G-Skiers Flare X5 series AMD EXPO RAM, 32 gigs of it. This will auto overclock if you enable your EXPO to 5600 megahertz speed. Storage in this system, we have the Kingston MV2 one terabyte M.2 SSD. To keep the CPU cool, we have the Aerogo AT240. Graphical power in the system, this ain't the exact cord we have. We have the AMD reference RX 6800, not the 6800 XT. To house all the components, we have the Metallic Gear Neo G mid tower case powered by Fantex. And to power everything in the system, we have the EBGA W1 100, which is a 600 watt 80 plus non modular power supply. So that's the components that make up today's test bed, which the main thing you're really concerned about is the motherboard and the RAM and maybe the CPU. But without wasting a lot more of your time, let's flip you over here and I'll show you how to get this RAM overclocked in this motherboard. Here we go. Here we're on the desktop. The easiest way to see what speed your RAM is running at. Go down here to your board. You right click. Go up to Task Manager. Go over here to Performance. You click where it says memory. It shows you you got how much memory you have available, how much is being used, all that. Main thing to look at is right here. Your speed's at 4,800 megahertz. That is the lowest speed that DDR5 can run at. To be able to overclock your RAM, you need to get into the BIOS. They go down here, start button. You get the power button. You can hit the reset button, restart button. And whenever your splash screen for your motherboard comes up, you just start tapping the delete key and you get into the BIOS that way. Another way I get into the BIOS, because sometimes if your fast boot system is going, sometimes it boots so fast you don't have time to hit that delete key. There's another way to get into it. You go into settings, scroll down here to update and security. You go down to recovery. Right here's your advanced startup. You hit restart now, you let it restart. You go down here where it says troubleshooting, click on it. Says uh, advanced options right here. Click on that. Go over here where it says UEFI firmware settings. Click that. Then you need to click the restart button. Let it restart into the UEFI or the BIOS. And as you can tell, with the ones that that matter to, and we are running BIOS version F. 3B on this ASUS Elite A AX motherboard. The easiest way to overclock your RAM. It says XMP EXPO disabled. Click that one time and it automatically overclocks it to what the memory set at. At this point, you can hit F10 on your keyboard or go down here to save and exit and hit yes and you should reboot into your Windows OS. Now, what happens if that's not stable or it ain't running at them? I'm not too sure on if, if the AM5 platform, I'm not too sure if AM5 platform is going to be like AM4 and be real picky with the RAM speeds. So I'm going to show you another way to be able to do this. So we're going to disable this again. You over here to advanced mode, or you can hit F2 on your keyboard. This will take you into the tweaker. This section right here is what you need for your memory. You want this auto booster. It's on auto. You want to disable that. Uh, the XMP or the EXPO, we have that disabled, so we don't have to worry about that. But now you need to set up the voltage since we have the auto tuning stuff turned off. And down here's your DDR5 voltage control. Double click on that. Okay, right down here, you need to, you're going to have to change all these. You're going to have to change this one, this one, and this one. So you uh, click on this one and set it 110. By what I'm understanding with DDR5 memory, they recommend not going over 1.40 volts or 1.5 volts. I can't really remember. I don't like going that high with mine. I don't like running mine to the max. So we're going to go with a 1.35. I'm going to hit 
enter, you'll see it pops up to 1.350 volts. Okay, then you gotta go down here to this next one down here, which says auto. Double click on it, we'll put the same thing in. Hit enter, and it changes it all the way down. I think this, I think these bottom ones down here is gonna be okay for the AEBPPAO voltage, because it's already set up to 1.8 volts. I think that'll be fine. Then you need to hit escape to go back. They'll put you back here where we started out at. Right here is your system multiplier. Double click on that. Highlight where it says auto. Put in five, six, point, and you hit enter. It'll throw up two zeros afterwards. So it should run at the 5600 megahertz speed. That is what the RAM kit is rated for. You could possibly push that a little bit higher if you really want to to really get the most out of it. Once you get that set up, you need to go down to advanced memory settings, double click on it, memory sub timings, click on that. And this is where you're gonna deal with all your cast legacies and all this other stuff. Normally when I do RAM overclocking, I do start these out at what the EXPO or XMP profile has them set up at. So that's what I'm gonna do. And when I did my voltage, I did it a little bit more than what XPO has it set up to. EXPO has it set up at one, up to 1 1.2 volts. I put it up to 1.35 volts. But to change these, you highlight the one you want to change and you type in what you want it to be. Instead of 36, put 36 in. Next one down, we want 36. Next one down, go with 36. Next one down, we're gonna go 89. I'm hitting enter in between each one of them. At this point, you can hit F10 on your keyboard or you can go up here to save and exit. You can hit save and exit setup. Double click on it and it shows you everything you changed. We did enable, then disable the XMP profile. We turned off the auto booster. We changed the voltage. We did change the system multiplier and we changed these. And then it shows you what you went into them last set there and changed the cast they could see and all that into. And you hit yes and you should be able to boot back into Windows. All right, there we are. We're back in Windows now. I did finish booting back up. So we're gonna go down at the bottom. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go into task manager. We're gonna go up to performance, click on the memory. And as you can see, our memory is now running at 5,600 megahertz, which would be the same thing as enabling XMP profile or the EXPO profile. So that's a few, that's a couple different ways you can actually get your memory to be overclocked. But that is the way you get the RAM, the DDR5 memory overclocked on this particular motherboard. Let me get reset up and I'll come up with a conclusion to the video for you. So that's the way you get this DDR5 RAM overclock. Showed you a couple of different ways to do it in today's video. I showed you how to enable your XMP profile, which would be the easiest. As long as your RAM and your motherboard and CPU play nicely together, it's a one click stop. If it ain't stable for you, maybe go in and try the other way. A lot of times, even though the EXPO won't be stable, you can get it stabilized if you go in and manually put in the numbers yourself. Or at least that's the way it would happen on DDR4 memory. And if you want to try to push it beyond what them timings is and what them speeds is, the uh, way I showed you how to put them numbers in is the way you can manually overclock it to try to get even more performance out of that DDR5. This is a this is just a tutorial or a how-to show you how to do it for your particular hardware, your particular RAM kit. You're gonna have to go in and play with it, see what's best for your system. Even if you buy the exact same ports that I've used in today's video, yours may do better or may not do quite as well as what mine does. So the rest of the settings and exactly what numbers to put in, you're gonna have to play around with it and try to figure it out on your own. I can't give you a direct answer because I don't know your hardware and I don't have your particular hardware here to do it with. But I hope you found a little bit of information in this video, a little bit helpful for you on how to get the max speed out of that DDR5 memory. There is some links in that description below that may interest you. Don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff when you way down that description box. Y'all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.